For those who waited until this Christmas Eve to finish up their Christmas shopping, Jane Wallace reports tonight was the night of the sugar plum frenzy. Yeah. Please help me, please. It's the night before Christmas and all around the stores rush the Santas in waiting who need to buy more. Burden bags in their hands, stalking cabs on sore feet, the shoppers who can't stop make way down the street. It's gifts that they're after, it's loving they seek, even if embarrassed when our camera takes a peek. I could be buying that for my girlfriend, but I'm not. Oh, you aren't. Oh, that's no, what was my question. Who were you buying that underwear for? You jumped when he was rolling on you. It was for my wife. Oh, you sure? Merry Christmas, yes. <laughs> there is tension in faces, strain about eyes, with the deadline so near, who cares what the size? It's really, it's really been a hassle. I don't want to go through this again. Did you get all your shopping done? Not really, I still got some more to do. When are you gonna do it? Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the adults so wound up in the swirl of their panicking, they leave grandma on trunk, children babysat by mannequins. Yeah, I think I'm a panic buyer. I decided that I'd shop early this year, so I bought two presents early and then I brought the other 30 today. <laughs> got about 12 people to shop for now, and 10 minutes, and it's starting to close in on me. So uh, I'm getting a little nervous. Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Boxes left in the aisle, so little time to shop. They've just got to get something before the clock hollers stop. The stores are all closed now. The stillness is crushing. Over is the panic, the pain, the rushing. If you haven't bought them all, resign to your fate. Those dreaded words Christmas morning, I'm sorry, it's late. In fact, you know, but we will remind you anyway that there are only a few shopping hours left in case you have any last minute gift buying to do. And as you might expect, the stores and shopping malls in this area were jam packed with shoppers at the last minute. People who own stores at Roosevelt Field in Garden City and at the Walt Whitman Mall in Huntington say they're giving this year's season mixed reviews as far as profits go. Here's what shoppers have to say about this last minute crunch. I'm always procrastinating with things anyway. So. This is the best time to shop. It's the most exciting. Oh, I'm always working. I can't shop. <laughs> My husband doesn't let me shop any other time. It's fun. One last thought on shopping as you recover from the blitz of today. After Christmas sales begin the day after tomorrow, and you'll probably wish you'd waited when the prices were a little bit lower, I guess. Well, if you waited until now to purchase that last gift for Christmas, you're running out of possibilities and out of excuses. Jim Dolan is at one store that's giving some folks one last chance by staying open late on this Christmas Eve. Jim, how's business tonight? Well, oh, John's not real busy, uh, but it was funny, about uh, 20 minutes ago, about uh, 20 people just flew in here. Apparently, they weren't quite as uh, prepared for the holidays, holidays as they might have thought. Of course, the big seller this year is the Bruce Springsteen five album compendium. Good thing about this album is that at $22, you don't have to feel cheap if you uh, buy that as a gift. Most people, though, are just getting the regular uh, single albums at about $7. Some of our late shoppers uh, are right here. How did you manage to wait until now 11, 12 at night, uh, the night before Christmas, to, uh, to get a gift for somebody? Well, uh, I just got back into town, and, you know, the tower is always open, so I figured might as well wait till the last minute. They usually do it every year, so. Might as well wait, to, wait till the last minute is the philosophy of most of the people uh, that I've talked to uh, while walking around here. Uh, this uh, whole family over here is apparently a group of procrastinators uh, here, and they're uh, buying every compact disc in the place, uh, which are more expensive. Who are you buying, uh, who are you buying uh, albums for tonight? Uh, just a whole bunch of friends, just different people. And I guess they can feel real uh, good about all the time that you spent on this gift and all the preparation that went in. Yeah, a lot of thought went into these gifts, you know. Thought about coming down here days ago. Yeah, yeah. I can bet. Uh, you know, the employees here are uh, not real happy about, uh, about working on uh, Christmas Eve either. The final question that I have, uh, having a little bit of uh, shopping to do myself, uh, John, do you suppose uh, Ernie is uh, more of a Paul Simon fan <laughs> or, uh, I don't know, maybe a... Uh, Iron Maiden fan. What do you think? <laughs> uh, maybe the Paul sister. Simon. <laughs> oh, Twisted Sister. Good, Katie. A busy Just place down in the village. Tower Records today. How late is that open tonight? Uh-oh. He's gone. Hopefully I think late. Hopefully late. Hopefully late.